This is the integral of cosine x dx over 1 minus sine x. So we can set u equal to 1 minus sine x. Notice that when you differentiate, you get du equals negative cosine x dx, which is on top here except for the negative. So divide by negative 1, so negative du equals cosine x dx. Okay, plug in and replace cosine x dx is negative du. And then the bottom one minus sine x is u. So then use the ln rule. So you're going to have negative of ln of the absolute value of u plus c. Now u is 1 minus sine x, we call. So you're going to have the following negative ln of the absolute value of 1 minus sine x plus c. But now notice the feature of 1 minus sine x is so always 0 or a positive number. Just do a little graph over here on the side. So graph 1 minus sine x, the argument into the ln function here. Okay, so look at it. Let's zoom in over a tiny portion. So you see, it's always zero on the bottom, or it's a positive number. The original has one over sine x, right? That would not be defined when one minus sine x equals zero. It carries over to here, like one, when one minus sine x equals zero, this is not defined, but everywhere else, as you can see, it's positive one minus sine x. So we can just write negative ln of one minus sine x plus c. You don't need the absolute value bars.